Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Here's an update on our 1947 25-foot S25 Chris Craft Sportsman, affectionately known as Baby Chick 4. Uh, the last time you saw a Baby Chick, the bottom planking was just going on. Well, I'm gonna hand it over to Rick so that he can explain to you how we got from there to here. Okay, so we installed all of our planking uh, and we had to let it cure. And then we started by lining it. You take a pencil and run a bunch of lines all the way down through as close as you can. And then when you're sanding it, your lines will disappear. That's that flat is the bottom now. No. And then when we got done doing that, then we started filling up the bones with the uh, marine filler. And as you can see, they're pretty good up here. There's like three coats on there. Now, before you laid those planks down, you sealed the underside with yeah, four was, coats of CPEF. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we used 5200 to put them all down with. And as you got up here closer, as you can see, there, if you can probably still see the laser line right there. That determines where for plugs and where we can use the filler. Right. Because up above here, this is all bottom paint here. All the way up to yeah. it. So that's the uh, water line, the boot yeah, stripe. Yeah, where the boot stripe goes in. It's the only way you can really determine uh, where you put your filler and where you put your plugs. Because you don't want to have filler in where you're going to do a finish. It that's, just doesn't that's, look right. That's correct. <laughs> and we, as you can see, we still, Joey's been working on this. We still got uh, a little bit more of the stem to put on. We put the filler piece in here, and then he's going to probably tomorrow put the filler in there on the stem and then we can finish sanding that in. And when you get it all sanded in, we're going to do the uh, Don Dannenberg pre-soak, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, pre-soak the bottom, yeah. And then we'll do the sides afterwards. So right. We'll have to tape that off. And for those of you who are not familiar with Don's pre-soak system, uh, I will try to find and include his article on that subject uh, in the write-up to this video, so do take a look. But I can give you the short story. We take a garden hose, literally a garden hose, and we soak this entire bottom. Now, uh, the purpose is to get the wood to move just a little bit. It still will move a little, and as Don said, what you want to do is sort of set the uh, brain, if you will, of the moisture content of the wood. Uh, so we bathe it and then we take huge sheets of the cheapest uh, plastic drop cloth we can find and we cover the entire thing. I mean, completely cover it. You'll see, we'll shoot a video and uh, add water a couple of times leave it for 24, 48 hours, and then pull the plastic off with a moisture meter. Keep watching it till it, the moisture content gets down to about 15%. And immediately we'll all be ready to start applying Smith's clear penetrating epoxy sealer on it. We'll go through the same process later on the hull sides. Uh, we still have a fair amount of work to do there before uh, we can do that. Uh, we prefer to get the bottom completely done, which means five coats of clear, uh, excuse me, Interlux 2000E barrier coat, followed by three or four co coats of Pettit hard racing copper bronze bottom paint. So she's coming along. I keep asking when she'll float. Well, actually, I think she'll float now because the transom is also about three quarters of the way planked. So I bet if we dropped her in the water, she'd float. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got the laser that allows us to uh, find the water line. We don't have to go that old route 
that so many people have suffered through. You drop her in the water and just hope like hell she's sitting the way she'll sit once you have the engine and everything else in. So that's our update on Wednesday, March 6, 2024, on our 1947 25-foot Chris Craft Sportsman. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.